In my last video, I showed you how to make random images using ConfUI, but not everything was smooth sailing. As you can see, I have not used this in a while and for some reason it stopped working. So let me see what I can do to fix this issue. Now you do have a bunch of templates and models and the output folder if you don't change it, that was the default one. And then you also have a bunch of workflows that you can simply use. Now let me see what is in the launch options. And I don't see anything that would have to do with the torch that is suddenly missing. And why it is missing? It's because I have updated Comfy UI. Now in the options, we can take a look at the extensions. And the installed one is just PyCache. So let me try and updating the PyCache. If that does not work, we can also take a look at the PyTorch and some problems. And this has to do with nightly updates. It's not nightly, I did update it though. And now suddenly I have a YAML issue. And let me just maybe update the stability matrix. So this should not take long because I have already cut it down. Stability matrix is now updated. And if I now maybe go back and launch it. I have the same issue as in the beginning. So no PyTorch. So maybe what I have to do is uninstall it and install it. And this is how you can do that. Now, if your PC for some reason cannot run the scripts, in this case PowerShell scripts, then you need to give it a higher privilege. And I've used the Venom script active to activate the virtual environment. And I uninstalled the PyTorch using the pip uninstall torch command. And you have to confirm it to uninstall it. Now this is then the command to install it. But I have also looked at different versions. So in this case 11.8 versus 12.6. And also compared it against the graphics card that I'm using. The 11.8 version is okay for me. But I have to delete the pip tree, so just pip. And this installation then took a while. How long? I actually have no idea. The estimate was about 8 minutes. So this is now me coming back and everything seems to be up and running. And it is, finally. But because I have done the updates and the uh, reinstall of the torch. I am now missing some custom nodes and also extensions. The most important extension I think is the ConfUI manager. So you have to go into the extensions to actually install it because it is not a plugin, it's an extension. So ConfUI manager, install this one. And I believe you will then also have to relaunch the ConfUI. So I relaunched it and I also waited for this to load up. So all of the all of the fetches that you saw that took a while. So I just skipped that part and I will have the ConfUI manager on the top and this will allow you to install all of the nodes easily. For the purpose of the previous video, which I wanted to use dynamic prompts, I used the show text and dynamic prompting. So the show text will actually display the text that is being used for the prompt that is being generated dynamically. And in this case, I had to use the ConfUI J nodes.
Now this is all up and running. You can close the windows if you don't need them or remove them around. And this is the dynamic prompt. This one is it, yeah. So it also says J nodes on the top. And if you want to download or use any templates, it will show you if something is missing. And if it is, where you have to put it and how big it is to download. In the not so distant future, I will focus the channel's content from DaVinci Resolve to Blender and Unity, and I will also have an occasional video on automation, be it automating image and video generation locally, and also automating our digital presence. So if you want to see any of that content, subscribe to the channel. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackal, keep it digital.